So on this day, Ezra and I decided that we wanted to get out of the house. We had been in the house all week and he had school to do. I had some business things and meetings to attend. So we both packed up, went to the cafe, sat there, and it was actually pretty relaxing and just a really nice change of environment because as a homeschooling mom, stay-at-home mom, and for him too, like being home all the time is just not the funnest. <laughs> so it was definitely just like a little refresher to get out of the house and do the things we normally do at home in a different setting. Hello. I can't remember the last time I actually got ready or like was ready uh, for a YouTube video. I'm pondering making jewelry for people for Christmas as Christmas gifts. And I'm kind of just like laying everything out <laughs> and seeing what I have. Um, I used to have like a little crystal jewelry business and so I definitely still have just like a lot of uh, tools and pieces like beads and strings and extra beads, just extra beads to make some earrings, bracelets, I'll probably just make earrings, I think that's the plan. Aside from one other gift that I'm not going to say it yet, just in case she watches this, because I don't know who of my family actually watches my YouTube videos, and so just to be safe, I'm not going to say it, um, but yeah. So, it's been a while since I've, like, gotten creative with jewelry. Like, these are some earrings I made. These I did not make, although they're definitely, like, a, a style that I would make. So, but yeah, like, I made these. Um, I'm probably gonna make something like this. They're like teardrops with um, just like clear crystal quartz. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually gonna go to the mall with my mom. I haven't been to the mall in I don't even know how long. I haven't been like shopping at the mall in like a long time. Um, Cause it's just not something I do anymore. I did that a lot as like a teenager. And also, like, maybe a young adult a little bit. And then I got better with my money. And I just don't really shop anymore. So, but yeah, Christmas is a whole other story. Hey, so this is where I'm going to share with you about my Kangen machine. And this machine has seven different types of water that it produces. Um, the water that I'm pouring in here is the drinking water, and it's the 9.5 pH one. And this water has actually changed my life, um, both you know mentally, spiritually, physically. I used to have sinus infections all the time. I had chronic sinusitis. I also have always been someone that had very, very painful periods. And ever since switching to this water, I've had zero sinus infections, so I've not had to go back to urgent care like I was every single month to get antibiotics, so I no longer have to take antibiotics, and I no longer have to take any pain medications to alleviate period cramps because I don't even get period cramps anymore, which is honestly not even something that I expected from changing my water, and it's what I got, so I'm just really, really grateful for this, and I just wanted to share it with you all. If you are interested in getting one of these for yourself, just leave a comment and I'll reach out to you. Hello. It's time to get out of my head. Um... I can feel my energy slowing down and it's frustrating me. <laughs> I've been working on accepting my cycles and phases and more specifically just being more in tune with my menstrual cycle and how like our energy literally changes during certain times of our cycle and I'm heading into luteal if I'm not already in it and um yeah I can just feel my capacity <laughs> and just like my energy slowing down and um it just can be frustrating when like there's so many things that I want to do but don't necessarily have the energy for 
and I feel like sometimes that can be like a story or something that like I tell myself that like oh I just don't have the energy but like also like there are times when I really don't and I force myself to do things and then I just feel like I disrespected myself like I didn't listen to my body even though it was asking for me to slow down and rest and yeah there's just times where I've just like completely ignored that and I'm choosing to get better at that and also not be so hard on myself when I don't actually get to accomplish everything on my list that I want to accomplish um to me it's a lot of like inner child like reparenting of like it's like my masculine like father in me um that's like kind of being hard on myself and I just have to like be that softer more gentle and accepting and loving and respecting and honoring parent within me to myself um in order for me to just not be so hard on myself so it's definitely a lot of like rewiring and like changing like being conscious and aware of like the thoughts and then like consciously changing them and like choosing better thoughts more supportive thoughts thoughts are like thoughts that are going to support me in whatever phase stage energy I'm in so that's that I burnt the sweet potatoes a little bit, but they're still good. I'm always so curious of the conversations going on within the animal kingdom. <laughs> Between the birds. Squirrels. lighting is good <laughs> natural lighting is seriously the best so I just made myself some cacao let me grab it so I could show you <laughs> myself some cacao and I ate breakfast um I showed you that and yeah just doing like some chores around the house I need to edit <laughs> this video that I wanted up yesterday <laughs> it's Sunday and now I'm trying to get it out today. It's not this video. It's a video. It's the it's the video prior to this one. The one that came out the following week. Or the previous week to this one. Um, 
yeah, I'm choosing to get back on like somewhat of a schedule with posting on YouTube because I just feel called to do that and I'm going to do that. So yeah, I'm about to edit that video, um, last week's video to you. It's last week's video. And I'm actually also going to be meeting up with my friend Ilse today. So you'll see that. You'll see her. Um, we're just going to go to this really pretty spot near where I live. And yeah, just going to take you along with us. Um, we'll probably just hike. And I am actually planning on bringing some jewelry making supplies. Because I'm actually making jewelry for people for Christmas. Um, so yeah. That's what's happening right now. I actually also really need to make my bed. I haven't even made my bed for the day. Um, it's been a slow morning. It's been a chill morning. I'm not... I'm choosing not to be hard on myself if everything isn't done when I think it needs to be done or like pressuring myself to get it done by a certain time. I mean, yes, I like to set goals and like somewhat structure out like try to have this done by this time, this done by this time, but like if something happens and it just like doesn't work out to where I can get it done at a specific time and it's just not done when I planned for it to be, I'm learning to just flow. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> so, I can drink this cacao. And uh, yeah, that's that. <laughs> 